I have these jeans, the zipper's broken and I have a stain on it and I'm gonna go and take this pumpkin form from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna flip my jeans over. I'm gonna scoot this form down through the top and into the jeans. I'm gonna take these clamps from the Dollar Tree and just start clamping around the frame. I kind of want to keep the pockets and the top portion right at the frame and then just start folding everything else under. You're going to need a few pleats so I just wanted them kind of in the same area on both sides. And then once I have that I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to cut all the excess material, mostly the legs. And of course you want to save them for another project. Now I'm going to start gluing, starting by going inside the jeans, gluing down the legs, just so that your uh, material doesn't shift. I'm going to remove all the clamps. They're just really holding the material while my hot glue dries or cools down, shall I say. Your hot glue is going to work once it's cooled. That's kind of how it works. So sometimes if I know I'm pulling something on a tension, I'll use these clamps until I know that my glue has fully cooled down. And I'm going to use them going around the rim of the top portion of the frame. And again, you can get these right at the Dollar Tree. They're great. Um, I use them almost every day. So they're worth having. I believe they come six in a package. And you can get them in small or large. I think the large ones may come two in a package. So I'm going to remove all the clamps. I'm pretty secure that this is not going to move. And then I'm going to take this burlap ribbon and I'm going to hot glue it on the stem of the pumpkin on one side. Cut it back and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take this leaf and I'm going to put it in this back belt loop. I found this burlap flower. I glued it to the one side. I found this word hello fall from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a bundle and I'm going to glue it on the other pocket. I'm going to put some raffia in one of the pockets. And I really do love the way this looks, but as I was looking for some uh, jute, I found... Um, I found these berries too. That's not what I was going to say. I found this sunflower that had the full colors of everything else going on. And I was going back and forth which one I liked better. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to remove this burlap flower and add this colorful sunflower and keep that boho vibe going. Let me know which one you liked better. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, mesh stencils, do not forget our cutouts. Our subscription box opens next week. So excited. Hope you join. Talk to you soon.